Okay, so let's do some examples together, yes? Shall we? Okay, so number one, read the story. Draw a circle. You can also highlight if you want to highlight around the infinitives that you identify in the story. An infinitive ends in A-R-E-R-I-R -R -R and often comes after a conjugated verb. So, me llamo Natalia. Do we circle or under, do we do um, highlight or circle anything there? No, nothing ends in A-R-E-R-I-R. -R -R. Soy estudiante de Clark Middle School y me gusta ir a la escuela porque puedo participar en muchas actividades diferentes ahí. En casa, solo puedo mirar la televisión. So, what are we circling here? Ir and participar. They end in I-R. A R. There, there's one more. Mirar. Mirar. Okay. So we're just going to stick with these three lines for right now. Okay. Now, number three, it says underline any conjugated verbs that preceded or came before an infinitive in the story. Then make a list of them here. So what came before ir that was conjugated? What was the conjugated verb? Me gusta. So you should do what with me gusta? Underline. Underline it and then write it on the line under number three. Okay, what well, we circled participar. So what conjugated verb came before participar? Puedo. So you're underlining puedo and then you're doing what? Writing it down on one of the lines and number three. So then we circled mirar, and what comes before mirar? Puedo. So we underline puedo. However, we've already listed it on number three, so you do not have to write it again. Okay. Now let's jump down to number four for just a minute. I want to make sure you know how to do each, each section. So you're responding to the questions about the story in complete sentences in Spanish, okay? So letter A, ¿Qué puede hacer Natalia en casa? What is that asking in English? What can Natalia do at home? How on earth Let's see, where does it say she can do at home? Go back up to the top. En casa solo puedo mirar la televisión. Does everybody see that? Okay, so how do we answer that in a complete sentence? What can she do at home in English? Natalia can watch TV at home. So how do we say that in Spanish? Natalia puede, you're using the same form that's in the question of that verb, and then the infinitive, mirar la televisión. I also put some verbs on the board that you may or may not already know for your reference that you'll see in the story. Okay, let's check out number five. Finally, respond to these questions in Spanish. So these are questions, these are personal questions you're responding to. So letter A says, ¿Qué puedes hacer tú en casa? What is that asking? What can you do at home? So how do you answer that in English? I can. I can whatever. Let's say watch TV to keep it simple. I can watch TV. That would be an appropriate response in English, right? So we need to translate that to Spanish. How can we translate that to Spanish? Yo puedo. So we have to change the form of the verb to I. Puedo. So it ends in O. And then the same thing. Mirar. You have your infinitive next. La televisión. That's just an example. Yes, ma'am. Spanish. I just wanted you to think, how do I respond in English? 
but no, they need to be in Spanish. So basically, you need to be writing the conjugated verb and then a infinitive after that. Any other questions? Okay, you're on your own. If you have a question or need some help, please raise your hand so that I can help you. I don't know if you're struggling unless you tell me, okay? Use your dictionary if you need your dictionary, although some of you put it up already. Oops. <laughs> 